Okay, so what we'll probably do is start at the end here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 58, Disseminate. In today's episode, we had listened to our Echoes and Leashes pieces several times, and we did some reflection about the Leash piece and had some further insights about that. We ended up trying a whole new approach looking at working in fours, uh, going back to cadence that's not that used. What we actually ended up doing was just saving the work done to date and starting from scratch and picking out cadences that sounded right put together. So we ended up completing a satisfying five-part sequence, fast, slow, fast, slow, slow, that has a sense of story, structure, and completion. We're using seven out of the 11 available notes and using five out of the 20 cadences. So then we decided to look at it in terms of animation, and we began exploring the parts visually. And the first interesting thing that we discovered is that when we used our MIDI viewer, or MIDI animation viewer, that D flat kept acting like some kind of a home note uh, using what was called the intervals dyad display. Um, that triggered us to try analyzing the scale. Is it a minor major scale? Well, the full notes that are being used are these seven notes. Here we go. And we drew them in a circle using our traditional negative harmony reflected note analysis and said, well, if it is a scale, then this is the minor scale. And this is the major scale. So we went ahead and worked with that. And we modified the end chord of this piece accordingly, which you just heard a few seconds ago. So the MIDI animation gave us insights on a new way to approach this, working with the scale in these chords. And basically, we're not working with all 20 chords. We're working with five out of the 20. And we're working with seven out of the 11 notes. And it's, we thought, well, maybe this is going to be one of those scales we've already worked with before. But no, this is not a scale that we've worked with before. So that's kind of neat. The second thing is we started to work with our traditional magic animation. And what that showed us is even though that we have a cadence and a backbone part, um, basically the backbone is just one of the notes out of the cadence. So it's not really showing us anything new. For example, the cadence is a little louder, so we get a little more shimmery effect on the uh, on the background. But overall, they're doing about the same thing. There's a little bit of color difference. So that has led us to thinking, well, can we add another line? And so we just started working on adding a third line here uh, called the polyphon line and trying to figure out what notes to put in there that are not already in the cadence and not already in the backbone. However, that is for another time. We, we've got those muted right now. So what we're going to do is play what we've got to date and this will also show the harmonic energy story that uh, we figured out using that reconstructed scale. So here we go playing this piece to date. Oh, an important feature is that it's a fast piece. So try this again.
So that concludes today's stream. Interesting points here. When we were looking at the previous stream's work and adding all the extra cadences, we went through and looked at the melody patterns and looked at were they flat, were they rising, were they falling, were they flat, flat, rise, or rise, uh, fall, flat, fall, flat, flat, like that. And, and we realized it was too much rise in here, not enough variation. And so when we composed by ear, starting from scratch, you can tell we added some rising and falling and tried to keep it more balanced. That was interesting, and I think it was informed by doing this initial listening to the first shot at Leashes. Our ideas for next time are share our work to date at Open Mic. We have that today, every Sunday. Continue to add a part that's distinct from the cadence and backbone over here and to work further with the animation. For example, we were thinking about the, the straining at the leash image. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next stream. See you soon. Do come back and as always, keep on streaming.